breaking the wall of sanitation to reinvent the toilet. Caveto Chachara, Falling Walls Lab, Namibia. Hello, everyone. My name is KV. I'm a One Young World ambassador and also the founder of Flush. Flush is on a mission to provide innovative waterless toilets to schools in underserved communities. This is a picture of my grandmother. And no, she's not the problem. But in 2014, after many years of living in a big city, I traveled back to my home village close to Rundu. And while I was there, the harsh realities of people living in underserved communities really hit me as I watched my grandmother walk two kilometers for her to find some privacy and a bush to defecate behind. Unfortunately, this story is not an anomaly as over 54% of Namibians practice open defecation and globally, more than four billion people still lack access to safely managed sanitation. So, even if we zoom out from Namibia and go all the way to India, having a toilet is a basic human right that needs innovative solutions for it to scale to people like my grandmother. So, how are we breaking the wall of sanitation for us to reinvent the toilet? Firstly, we have worked on a, a business model that makes it financially viable for schools in underserved communities to have access to sanitation. We've used proven technologies like solar lights and sensors that we have put together in a unique product architecture um, and works simply in four ways. Firstly, the eco toilet contains the toilet resources in a safe manner. Secondly, we have highly trained sanitation workers on a monthly basis collect the composting chamber. Three, transport it to our facility. And four, finally, transforming it into biochar, which is a source of energy. And I think this is truly incredible. So our eco toilets are not only environmentally uh, friendly, but they help restore the dignity of my people. Um, so finally, uh, one of the things that we're trying to work on is to build a product that is not only beautifully designed, we want it to be like the iPhone of toilets. So I returned back to my grandmother's village, and we have implemented this project at two schools, directly impacting the lives of 500 school children and generated revenue of 200,000 Namibian dollars. So I think the future is bright for us to help Namibia achieve SDG 6 by the year 2030. Thank you. <laughs> 